This incredibly lavish building opened in 1907. It's the old Custom House by Cass Gilbert. Before income tax, the duties collected by the Customs Office in New York made up more than a third of the national budget. So it is covered with beautiful ornamental statues. But let's just focus on the sculptures near the base. These are the Continents by Daniel Chester French, most famous for a statue of Abraham Lincoln in the Lincoln Memorial. Let's look at the four continents. And that's right, four. There is no Antarctica or Australia, and the Americas are kind of smooshed together, mainly north. But let's look. There's no mistaking America. She's in the center. She sits strong. She leans forward as if she's about to stand up. She's holding a torch like the Statue of Liberty in her right hand. There are corn stalks in her lap. A bald eagle is on one side of her throne and an American Indian is behind her, looking over her shoulder as she looks into the future. There are Mexican hieroglyphs and a totem pole to be seen as well. Labor or invention is the man at her left, spinning the wheel of progress. All in all, the future looks bright. Europe is the other central statue. Her arm is on an open book, suggesting the history and knowledge of Western civilization. That, in turn, sits atop a globe, which she has largely taken over by the opening of the 20th century. There's a Greek frieze on the side of her throne and an eagle representing Rome behind her, as well as monarchial lions. She's elegant, dynamic, maybe a bit obsessed with the past. I mean, America's putting a little distance between herself and that Indian. But Europe's sitting back in her throne, content, part of the old world. Still strong, though. Not too much of an insult. The sculptor's last name, after all, was French. Then, off to the side, the world gets a little trickier. This is Asia. She's very exotic. She's meditating with eyes closed, a statue of Buddha in her lap, and a lotus flower in her right hand. Lovely, but wait a second. There's a vicious tiger on her right, her feet are resting on human skulls, and the three men on her left are emaciated, captive, subservient, beaten down. So you have to wonder, is she contemplative, or is she completely closed off to all the human suffering around her? Daniel Chester French was not a Buddhist. You can say that again! Uh, Daniel Chester French was not a Buddhist. Flanked by a lion is Africa who, unlike America, is not at all about to stand up. She's the only one dead asleep. She's not even dressed. What the hell? She's half naked, conked out, while her great contributions to civilization decay beneath her elbow. And they were sculpted, by the way, to show signs of decay. And then there's a mysterious woman draped, representing the dark continent of the time, who also appears to be slumbering. This seems to be saying, come over, take what you need, get what you want, because without you, we can't even wake up or get dressed. Wow. I know. These were done over 100 years ago, and it is the U.S. Custom House, but yikes. That's a lot wow. of... Charging Bull, one of the most popular statues in New York. One night in December 1989, Arturo Di Modica and his friends plot this 7,000 pound bull in front of the New York Stock Exchange. According to the artist, it's supposed to represent the strength, power, and hope of the American people for the future. This symbol of hope for the future, though, was obstructing traffic, so it was quickly taken away by truck. There was a huge outcry from the public, however, and the Parks Department placed the bull here at Bowling Green, facing up Broadway. So now tourists from around the world can come here and pose in front of the bull, and they also pose in back of the bull. And judging from the shininess, uh, can you just give them a rest just, just for a few minutes? Uh, judging from the shininess, they rub the balls of the bull, which is somewhat alarming, but better the bull at Bowling Green than George Washington at Federal Hall. That's what I say. Uh, you know, one day, just, just give them one day of rest. That's all, that's all we're asking.